Hello Scorpios, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading for the year ahead. As always, please let me know if anything I say resonates, please let me know by liking and subscribing. And let's get on with your reading. What's happening for you beautiful Scorpios in 2024? You have the strength card and the lovers card straight away with the page of swords on the bottom so page of swords is this energy of being a little bit nervous um i don't know why i'm getting that you're carrying on anyway though like you're a little bit nervous coming into this year but you're carrying on anyway uh like you're just choosing to have courage and also i'm hearing have courage and be kind which i think is from cinderella but it's like you're choosing you're like yeah I can choose to be nervous and avoid something, or I can choose to be nervous and face it head on anyways. Especially with the strength here. You have the strength and the courage and the tenacity to move into this next phase. And it could be around love, because you have the lover's card here. This could be to do with a new love, or it could be to do with someone you're with already. But there's just something about having courage in this connection, or having to um persevere i'm getting as well persevere through something with someone oh the high priestess beautiful high priestess is um somebody very psychic so you're very psychic or you're gonna meet somebody that is they're gonna have a huge role in your life or you're you're psychic your intuitive abilities are having a bigger role in your life this year you're balancing i don't know why i'm getting that you're intertwining them with everything you're doing so even your work life even if you have an office job whatever it is you do even if it seems like how am i going to intertwine my psychicness or my intuitive hits with this you're still intertwining or weaving it in hmm like you're just you're finding a way if you're a musician you're you're making more like enlightened music or something and if you're an artist you're painting things that are more in tune with what you love and in tune with what you feel is right like you're following your intuitive hunches your hunches are leading you in the right direction this year and also you have your own card at the bottom to ground everything i just said this is a rebirth and i feel like you're not doing anything that you don't feel called to do anymore so maybe you did things because you were like, oh, that makes logical sense. Like, I should go in that direction with my career or in love. This person looks good on paper, so I'll give them a chance. There's something where you're not doing that anymore and you're kind of moving forward solely on what feels good and what doesn't. And that could include people that maybe don't look good on paper or you have reasons to not trust them or something. But then you're also like, for some reason you feel you want to and it's safe obviously if you feel safe like i don't know why i just felt like saying that some of you i don't know it's like use your own intuition and do what feels good and do what feels i just feel like these two look at these two rabbits are they rabbits one of them's got rabbit ears anyway and they they i just feel like these two have ended up together because they did what felt right and not what they thought was right, and not what they thought made sense. So there's something kind of unconventional or like out of the box with you and someone where it doesn't really look like it would work, or it, there's reasons why it might not, but you're ignoring them because you know like where there's a will, there's a way. Queen of Swords, where there's a will, there's a way, and the Queen of Swords comes out. She's very intelligent, and I don't know why I'm just getting this energy, that you're able to make things work. You're able to get what you want because of your like intellect because of your what you know and if you don't know something you find it out you you learn it and you know that and i think that's also i feel like your nerves there's kind of a death because of that rebirth card at the very start of your reading you had the page of swords on the bottom and then you have the rebirth after that and i just feel like you're leaving this energy of being nervous behind and going, well, if I don't know something in life, I'll learn it and I'll figure it out and I'll move forward. And if I don't know how to do something, I'll learn to do it. There's like this ending of you being worried about anything. Whoa, Scorpio. It's this intense thing of you not really worrying. 
and just going, well, I can handle anything. It's very strong energy, and you did have the strength card to begin with. Queen of Cups, Seven of Swords. Also, I feel like you're not avoiding your emotions this year. In 2024, you're kind of... I feel like in 2023, you might have run away from things that made you feel, or that you were unsure of, or that were strange to you, that were mysterious to you, and it could have just been... This could have just been in a relationship. You avoided certain conversations or certain topics. Whereas in 2024, I feel like you're going deeper and you're not avoiding your more sensitive emotional side with someone. And Ace of Cups is here. So for a lot of you, this is new love or healing where it feels new. Even something that's old, it will feel new. And it's very lucky. There's something around this that's very lucky. And it's also like you're tapped in. You're tapped in spiritually, I feel. You're very tapped in. So just trust your intuition. You you know what you know and trust that. Knight of Cups. You also have somebody. So you have a new love and this person is somebody that. They're very traditional. They're very romantic is the energy I'm getting. And sometimes they might even come across a bit boyish. I say boyish. It can be a man or a woman. But it's that energy of even if this person is very, very mature. They're still going to do boyish things where they go out of their way to be romantic i don't know why it's coming through because why wouldn't an older person do that i don't know but it's just like they'll go out of their way like this person has the energy of a kid i'm getting they have a lot of energy like i don't know why i'm seeing someone getting out of a car running around the car opening your door but like it's with so much energy that it's like a toddler did it i don't know i don't know. it's coming through but it's not a toddler obviously don't worry it's this person is a king of swords they're a king they're very intelligent they're very mature but they just when it comes to you they they you make them feel like a kid again or something queen of wands they also it's also because of how attracted to you they are queen of wands is very attractive and this person is very drawn to you and you're drawn to them as well it's very reciprocated this is a very beautiful energy this the thing is between you and this person I don't know. there's something funny between you and this person but like there's the energy dynamic or something the exchange between you both is very very funny you could be very funny people but there's something where you either i don't know i see i see people laughing at the both of you together and not in they're not making fun of you Maybe you and this person already knew each other before because it's something where people are going to be laughing like why didn't we see that coming why didn't we see them together? Why did we not expect this? Or there's something about you just looking like a very good couple where people are going to laugh about it because you look like you're meant for each other and people are going to go, huh. oh, that's typical, of course, Scorpio would end up with... Of course, Scorpio gets... I don't know, there's something where people are going to like laugh about it. Um, also, you're going to learn a lot for each other. And if you're in a relationship, there's just more happening where you will learn more from each other. It, there's a lot of progress happening this year in your relationships, friendships, platonic friendships, obviously, as well as romantic relationships. You have a lot of, like, growth happening, even if you're... Even if you feel like you've done all your growing, you're growing a lot this year. Knight of Pentacles. Also, your work is growing, like, slow and steady. But I don't know why I'm seeing, because when I say slow and steady, I always see stairs. Because you're taking one step of the staircase at a time. Slow and steady, you're getting to the top. Whereas if that staircase was not stairs and it was just like a climb you wouldn't you just slide back down so you take one step at a time but i don't know why i'm seeing huge like bouldery steps like massive so it's slow and steady wins the race but you're taking things on quite chunks huge chunks at a time scorpio this year so you might you might be very, working very very hard this year but it's like an energy of work hard, play hard, and also, like, 
you're going to be very proud of the things you achieve this year because of the amount of effort you're putting in. You're going to get out what you're putting in, is what I'm trying to say. And this feels like your life is changing significantly this year in multiple ways because I'm look at this hanged man the hanged man is like perspective so your perspective on life is changing but not only is your perspective on life changing your actual physical reality is changing at the same time so you might feel like things are a bit upside down because you're looking at the world through more optimistic eyes and you're looking at things through brighter eyes and things are more vibrant if things have felt quite dim and gray and boring life's gonna become more vibrant and I feel like with that, your actual physical reality is changing as well. Like you could be moving or something because you're changing the way you're looking at things. And the things you're looking at are changing because of that. But whilst you're having like a reset of the way you see the world and seeing the world through happier eyes, you're also going to find yourself in a complete different place in the world. And you might be a little bit disorientated at first, like, oh. It's almost like you're going to move and then you're going to be like, oh, I, mo I moved. Like you're a little bit, not spaced out, but you could be spiritually awakening whilst moving and you're meditating a lot or something. Because I kind of get a sense that you're going to be meditating. And when you come out of this meditative state, you're actually in a different house or you're living somewhere else. They, and you go, oh, yeah whoa, I don't know how long I was meditating for, but yeah, I moved. I forgot that that happened. There's something where you're going to be so in tune with quieting your mind and your reality falling away that when you open your eyes again, oh, you're actual, yeah, you've moved. You've bought a house. You've bought a new house or something. Um, you've moved in with someone. I don't know. The magician, maybe you're actually manifesting like a time jump or a time skip or something this year where you do end up. Um, I don't know. Things are just going to happen a lot quicker or change for you faster than they have in the other years. You might have been very patiently waiting for a change to come and then it's coming whilst you're having... A spiritual awakening I'm getting. Can't stop saying that. What else is going on from Scorpio? Because I'm now I'm seeing, I don't know if you've watched The Proposal. Hopefully you have. I've always go watch it. But I'm just seeing Betty White going around the fire. Ch like, chanting around the fire like, he, 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 he. And I feel like there's that. And then once you kind of come out of your chanting energy... You go, oh, where am, what woods am I, because she's in the woods, what woods am I in? Oh, I'm in a different country? Oh, okay, forgot about that. Like, you're in your own little world, but it doesn't matter what world you're in. I, I don't know, and then you click, oh, yeah. I don't know why I can't stop talking about that, but it's a really nice energy of you ignoring the world around you and being able to create a new one or something. Ten of Swords. King of Pentacles. And the Wheel of Fortune. A Sagittarius energy here. I was about to call you Sagittarius. You might have that in your chart strongly. Or you're with someone that's a Sagittarius. King of Pentacles. Hmm. I don't know why I'm getting something about factory or factories come through. Um, you could be like, you've got your own factory or you're making something in a factory this year. Because there's money coming from it. It's like consistent money coming in, but you're not doing anything because it's almost like something else is doing it for you. So like a production line or like something's happening for you that's bringing you money that is automatic. It's like automatic income coming in this year. Um, and it's also like, I don't know why I'm getting to begin with, you're going to be like, that's better than nothing. Like, there's money coming in this year where you're going to go, it's more than I had last year. I don't know. And, and then you, and then it ca carries on growing and you got like snowball effect where you go, oh, okay, it's even more. Oh, it's even more. Okay, cool. 
Oh no, I was happy with the other amount. But that's even better. Oh, I'm making more now? Okay, okay, cool. I don't know, it's like your money will be snowballing. You'll be collecting more and more, but doing the same amount of work. Three of Swords with the King of Cups. Whew. Three of Swords is pain or heartbreak, but with the King of Cups on the bottom, Cups are very healing, and the King of Cups in particular is somebody very healing that wants to heal others. There's someone around you that wants to heal you or heal some heartbreak or something that they deem to be heartbroken about you like there's something where there's some type of pain around you that someone will want to heal this year um it seems quite big but at the same time easily tackleable tackleable that's not a word tangible no tackle like you'll tackle this so whatever this pain or stress or this could be mental because it's swords. There's something that you'll be tackling with someone by your side and it will be very easy. But it will be something life-changing when you get over or heal this. I'll get one more card. Seven of Wands, beautiful. I want to say, Scorpio, I'm taking this as an advice card straight away. Stay stubborn and I, I get this message a lot stay like it's this energy of being combative and you might be so like enlightened and spiritually awakened to the fact that that might sound like a negative thing to be combative but I mean it in the highest sense there's something where it's going to be okay for you to stick up for others around you and yourself stay a little bit feisty stay sassy Stay stubborn. Stay. It seems like stay in your sassy, fiery energy, even though you're not a fire sign. Like, stay a little bit, like, ah, like that bat. I don't know. Um, It's okay to be like that. Um, I feel like you're fighting back. And it might even be fighting back against your own pain, against your own brain, maybe. But just stay in that kind of fightery energy. Because it's going to get you far. It's going to be very beneficial this year to stay. I just want, I want to go, like, stay, like, stay a little bit. Um, I don't know why I felt like just stay fiery, I guess. I'm going to wrap your reading up here. Thank you so much for watching. If anything I said resonates, or obviously it's not happened yet so if you feel like it is going to resonate please let me know by liking and subscribing and i'll see you next tuesday for tiny shell tarot tuesdays